Alright guys, so, if I were an undercover agent, my cover story would be a pimp. You know why? Because no one would suspect that a pimp is an agent. Duh. Now, that's the type of deception you'll see on Graceland, a new show on USA Network where undercover agents from the FBI, DEA, and other places live together and try to get by. Here's a clip. Check it out. What did you do? I'm a teacher. I'm trying to make him on the PGA Tour. Reservist with the 316th Quartermaster Company. You are now an undercover agent on your lies are your life. Graceland, a new original series, premieres Thursday, June 6th at 10 on USA. There you go. You can see you should catch the premiere on Thursday, June 6th at 10, 9 central on USA Network. Until then, check out the link in the description uh, right down there. And it's a five-minute sneak peek for all you guys who want to come check that out. What's up? Hot team here. Today I'm showing you guys top eight tweaks and mods for your Android device in 2013. Showing you guys on my Galaxy Note 2. It's rooted by the way. You do need root. Make sure you have that. And uh, let's begin this video. All right, so pretty much this video is gonna be about uh, showing you guys top eight tweaks for your device. Now these are pretty simple. I'm not gonna say that they're the best, mainly because they're, in my opinion, they are the best, but you could be different. There are just opinions, but they are pretty useful and uh, most of them are pretty popular. Um, I just wanna show you guys some unique ones and make your phone just a little bit better and cooler to show off to your friends. So without any further ado, uh, let's go check these out. All right guys, so the first up you wanna do when you have your device is you wanna check if you have root. So best way to do that is go into the Play Store, download this app called Root Checker, verify your root access, and there it tells you if you have root or not. I do, so um, I could do this video. Anyway, go into the app. Let's check out the first app, shall we? Here it's called Icon Themer. Now this app is great. It just costs $1.49 though. What this app does is it allows you to replace icons on any launcher, any default launcher. You can have third party launcher, it doesn't matter, and it replaces the icons without even the developer having it supported. The requirements are you need 4.0 and higher, obviously you need root. It's not compatible with MIUI, so if you have MIUI you can't do this, sorry. So this is how you make it work. First up, you want to download this app called Install Exposed Installer. Download this link in the description so you can download it. Once you do that, you want to click install, and uh, yeah, it clicks install. Then you want to go into the, you want to swipe your finger and click models and you want to choose icon themer. Make sure that's checked. Once it's checked, you can make, make the app work. All you have to do now is just restart your device to make it work to the fullest. So once you restart, you can get back to the screen and from there you can open up the app. All right, so uh, what you want to do next is you want to go into the Play Store and you want to download icon packs. That doesn't matter. Um, you can download as many as you Here want. Here you go. You can see all the icons I have. I have hollow icons, tiny white icons, and these are all from the Play Store. Um, I didn't even check if it supported my launcher. I just downloaded it because I have this app and it allows me to do that. So I'm gonna go into it, choose hollow icons, and apply the same effect like nothing ever happened. It's gonna apply it, soft reboot it, let that load there. And there you guys go. You can see the icons are really different. They look like flat icons. Going into the, my app launcher, you can see some of the apps are different. You can see the browser, the calculator, calendar. They're all, uh, they all look like hollow um, themed. And they look really nice. Not only that, but it's not just the home screen. It's also in your system. So you can see there the system settings icon has it changed as well. For your device. And it's only $1.49. All right, next app I have, guys, it's called Experience Pro. Now, this is $2.45 in the Play Store. Well worth your money, though. It has various tweaks, not just one, and they're really simple, too. So here I go. In the app, once you load it up, it's going to give you the, this screen. What you want to do here, it allows you to actually touch wake your device without even having it to go into your lock screen and unlocking your phone. So, for example, if your device turns off randomly because you weren't touching it or anything, automatically the phone is going to lock itself like this. And then you have to go into your lock screen, tap the lock button, unlock your phone like that. With this, all you have to do is tap on the model status. When that's on, that means it's activated. Then you want to press on, on for the wake lock. And I have it set for 15 seconds to turn the screen off, so I'm just going to let that load. There you go. Now I can just tap it. Automatically my device wakes up. Another cool tweak this app lets you do is it allows you to control your music using your volume control buttons with the playback. So, for example, if you're playing a song, there you go. And if you want to skip to the next song, all you have to do is long press on the up button and it switches the song. 
If you want to go back to the previous song, you just hold down on the bottom one, again, and it goes back. Very, very simple. And another tweak that it allows you to do is it allows you to adjust and maximize the CPU. Experience Pro, $2.45. 160 devices are supported for this app. All right, guys, this next app is called Soft Keys. Now, I wanted to show you guys this cool new app. Really, what it does, it allows you to um, change the keys at the bottom of your phone. Some of your devices do not have hard buttons. You may have noticed that the Nexus devices have soft keys. Um, which mine doesn't as you can see here sadly, but that's okay. Anyway, it allows you to change those now I can't really show you an example of that because really mine not supported for that But in you could actually change those buttons down there to whatever you want change the theme color whatever and it allows you to choose from a, a Whole different variety all you have to do is select them and it shows you the preview of the bottom of your bar right up there And you can change every single one of them um, Whatever you want and you can also choose your own um, if you want to import buttons, you can choose it from your photos in your gallery. But I don't really have that. If you're really good at Photoshop, then you could probably some make some sick ones. Anyway, going in here, you can choose random ones, and uh, that's probably what my that's probably what it would look like if I actually had soft keys. And then once you want, you can enable it just by pressing that check button. It's gonna work it, and then it's gonna reboot your device like this. Changes the look of the keys at the bottom to whatever color you want the style you want, the look, everything. Alright guys, the next app is free and it's called LMT Launcher. I know a lot of you guys heard of this, it's pretty popular knowing the fact that this allows you to have Pi Control. What's Pi Control? Well maybe if you come check this out, this app you can download in the description, it's not in the Play Store, no no no, it's in the description to download the APK. Really what it is, it's free and this is what it looks like. So if you're in any home screen for example and you're just going around, uh, you can actually have quick settings automatically on your device it's like multitasking you just hold the right side of your bar and this pops up really frequently so you can see there it displays a time really big it displays like little uh, information that you can know about your phone so it tells you uh, the date the battery you can actually make it so it stops switching really quickly you can actually change it to have apps you can change it to look different change the color of it red whatever and uh, you can go into this and hold down different options and change the keys as well. So come check that out, and that is LMT Launcher. All right, next app I have is called LCD Density, and this app lets you have larger resolution on your device. So let's continue this, install this, and you can install it from the Play Store. Basically what it does is it makes your menu or whatever look smaller, but it looks really better in resolution, and uh, you can see more stuff clearly. So, for example, here you can see here if I go into the settings, you see the normal settings, right? Take a good look at this because I'm going to change it really fast right here. Let's change it to 180 and let's apply the restart. Automatically it's going to restart my device. Let that load there. It makes it into tablet mode too. So if you go into Gmail, for example, you can have that tablet mode theme automatically there. You can see there. That's a really nice mod. I like it. And uh, so that's LCD Density. Come check it out. And it's free in the Play Store. All right, guys. The next app is called Game On. A dollar in the Play Store. Anyway, this app allows you to unlock levels of supported games by downloading data shared by others, users, on this network. And basically what it does is... If you're playing a game, for example, you're playing Angry Birds and you're stuck on a level, you can't bypass it. This app allows you to download data from players who already played it and unlocks levels so that way you can skip to the next level and play on your own. You can choose from whatever games you want, uh, only the ones that are supported right now. The really popular ones are on here, so like Angry Birds, I would say Age of Zombies, Abduction, stuff like that. So if you want, you can choose Angry Birds. I'll just choose that because I have that. And right here you can see all the play the people who have submitted their data in here. Now there's there's not a lot of people on here because it's not really popular yet, but once they upload their thing, you can actually see that you can actually see down here who it was submitted by and the description. So it tells you the levels that were unlocked and how many stars they have depending on the game. You can basically download it and then you can click install game data. Once it installs, automatically you can go back into your game and go back to that place that you were at but you'll have every single game unlocked depending on the user that you installed it with. Game on, and it's really simple. This next app is called GMD Gesture Control, and it's free or $5.56 in the Play Store. So I'm just gonna skip this. Anyway, here you go, you can see the app. What it does, it allows you to have gesture control on your phone, just like, a ta just like the iPad. So, let's say you wanna close an app, for example, just grab with four fingers and pinch them together to close an app. 
pretty simple. If you want to go into the next app, four fingers as well, and you swipe like that, and it brings it to the next app. Here you can see all the gestures that you have. You have expand it to launch a pad. You can have the bottom launch pad. So here, if you go up with three fingers, it pops up with the most recent apps that you opened, and you can tap on them, and it opens up automatically, just like That's that. pretty much all it does. And you can multitask using gestures similar to the iPad on your device. All right, guys, for the last and final app, I have G Music FS. Now, I know you guys will like this. Now, this what, what this app is, is it allows you to bring Google Music streaming support to third-party music players like PowerAmp, Player Pro, um, Apollo, if you use that, like CyanogenMod. So, let me just choose an account. Here I have my account that I use the most, and I can click Next, and it's gonna sync all of my tracks, my music from the Google Play Store, and it's gonna mount it. Once it mounted it, you can see here, it tells you right there, five tracks and five albums synced. And right there, it tells you all the songs that you had from your account that you bought and you downloaded it and you could stream it off that website onto any player. Whistle, I didn't have that before, so let me just go back in here, choose whistle, uh, should have it, there you go, play it. And it plays like a charm. Very, very nice. Please make sure you need actual network to make this work because if you have no network at all, so let me just turn this off and if I play it, it's gonna take a long time to load. You can see there, having a hard time loading the song. I'll have a link down in the description so you can download it. It's not in the Play Store, please note that. So you do need to download it from the link down in the description. Hope you guys like this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up because, you know, helped you guys make your phone way better, have mods, you can do all kinds of stuff on your phone. Subscribe down there, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cook, 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 pow! All right, peace.